They put the concrete down for my new walk yesterday. I got the warning tape in English and in Spanish. The entire thing is blocked off. But what do I find this morning? Footprints, are you kidding me? It all started me? when my mom met my dad, and they fell in love, and they had me. Hi, I'm Ryan, and my life is kind of crazy. I bought an iPhone 6 the other day for £20. I'm going to fix it and sell it to CEX tomorrow. I'm going to use a gold iPhone 6 case. I'm getting comments right now stating the fact that what will my future boss think of my content right now? Little do you know, I've run my own company since the age of 15. I am my future boss. Check this out. In June of 2018, I bought two bottles of shampoo. That's 18 months ago. This is bottle number two, completely unopened. This is bottle number one, still halfway full, 18 months later. Am I doing this wrong or what? Bro, look at this. Look how long it's gonna take me. 10 bucks to anyone who lets me cut in line. No? This is Cadillac's 2020 Escalade, wireless charging. Okay, okay, I'm late to work. I just got away from my car when I'll be there fucking tomorrow! It started when I decided to buy a BMW. I was just driving to get an oil change when my car decided I needed an engine change. Hi, my name's Ashley, and my life's kind of crazy. So in Russia, they don't use microwaves because it's poisonous. So to test this theory out, we put uh, a, like a liter of water in a microwave. We're going to set it for five minutes, and we're going to pour it into some plants and see if it kills it. Getting pulled over every time you go to drive? Fucking mint. Door handle's so confusing, your passengers don't know how to get in? Fucking mint. Cup holder so small, Red Bulls can't even fit in it. Fucking mint. So low that you scrape every time you drive. This man right here tried to ring up a fucking TV and the PS4 has four pounds of watermelons in the self-checkout section. <laughs> it is not death most people are afraid of. It is getting to the end of life only to realize that you never truly You boys don't know where I can find the nearest bank, do ya? Like that. Well, what? I want it. I got it. 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 Filling up your E85 car. So I've got a drum here of United E85. I've pre-filled up. Open up the boot where your fuel cell is, or some people have a fuel tank, but I've got a fuel cell. Handle on the fuel cell. Turn it like that. And then just lift it straight out. Place, and then open, use a return. Fuel hose in, or some people use an automatic one. Jiggle the hell out of this bad boy. Check to make sure it's full. It's nice and full as you can see. Fuel cap. And now you're ready for some boost. Common question. What was your worst customer experience? 
To tell you the truth, the mechanic doesn't really interact with the customer. But there was a small window of time in my career where I was a service rider. This guy drives up, blocks two bays. Kinda like this asshole. Seriously, don't block a bay. It's an auto shop, not fast food drive through We're gonna name this guy Matt. He walked up to my desk. I just want a battery. Okay, here's a battery. You gonna put it in for me? Uh, there's an installation charge for that. Why should I have to pay for that? Put it in for free. My boss tells me to take care of it. Whatever, no big deal. Everyone was busy, so I just put it in myself. 10 and an 8 millimeter. I did right there in the parking lot. Pays the bill, drives off, and he comes back. Now my brakes are grinding. Okay, so we're looking at pads and rotors to start. Wasn't doing that before. Fix it for free. There's no relation between the battery and the brakes. Let me talk to your manager. Sir, your battery has nothing to do with the brakes. Well, I want the area manager now. The area manager was like, whatever, give it to him. Pads and rotors all the way around. Further encouraging this manipulative type of behavior. Morgan goes back to the same guy every freaking time. Fucking man. <laughs> Carly has three bodies, but has only had sex three times. Fucking man. Jake gets called gay all the time, but really wants to fuck tons of girls. Fucking man. Here are the richest people of all time. Cornelius Vanderbilt, $185 billion. Andrew Carnegie had a whopping $310 billion. Then we got Big Papa John D. Rockefeller. Laughing with a big boy 340. Famous celebrity neighbor check. All right, I'm gonna go dunk on the Clout House basketball hoop. Here we go. Mr. Wing, uh, come here today at the uh, email plan, and uh, I put the name on the label very good, yeah. And the guy get the uh, too much confusion because the Lebanese guy and he say your name no Mr. Uh, Mr. Wing. He say I too much confused. I say this one my name Mr. Wing, but he don't believe me. This bullshit, you know, no good. Okay, TikTok. I'm gonna go in here because there's a guy claiming that if I walk into a subway and ask or say that I want it toasted before the employee does, I get three free cookies. So I'm gonna walk over to this guy and actually ask him. Sir, I'd like it toasted. Does that mean I get my three free cookies? Okay, this guy's also claiming that, can I go out to my car and bring my own cup in and get a free drink? So this guy is fucking lying. Yo, middle class, but more higher, but not high class check. Roses are red, violets are blue. Sometimes my Subaru goes. Oh, I just hit a fucking deer. God damn. Oh my god. Really? Son of a bitch. Bitches want to be strippers, but don't understand this is how your legs look after every fucking weekend. When most people get pulled over, they look at that right there and think, I wonder how fast I was going. I get pulled over, I look at that right there because I know how fast I was going. I want to know how far I can run. You know, aside from me being fucked up in the front, this ain't even that bad of a car, bro. I wonder if it answers questions. Hey, excuse me, car? Yeah, I was wondering, uh, what do we do when music artists start to groom and entrap minors? Cancel. I wonder what rev limiter is like. Oh, if it'll get there. I really want to lose three pounds.
pounds. Oh my god, what are you talking about? You're so skinny. Ugh, shut up. Okay, I want this one. I want I want this one. And it costs this much. Okay, first name Christian. Last name Flores. Card name Money. You guys will not believe this. I Uber said Rolls Royce. Uber for Nico? Yeah. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna tell you something about straight piping and mufflers. Mufflers, you know, you gain twerk. Straight pipe, you gain a lot of horsepower. But, you know, your zero to 60 is gonna change because you're missing your mufflers. Keep those on if you wanna hire. Uh, How to travel when you're young and or broke part three finding more cheap flights There are these things called hidden city fares That means they are flights that do not show up on Google flights or any other aggregator because they don't exist to find these flights You're gonna want to Google skip lagging I can't show you what the website is because it's sort of in a gray area legally to understand skip lagging You have to understand how airline pricing works. It's almost 100% demand based with constantly changing prices now This sometimes leads to what one might call a glitch in the system where you have a layover in a city that it would actually be more expensive to fly directly to. So what skip lagging is, you book the full flight, but then you get off during the layover. Strictly speaking, this is legal. Now in recent years, airlines have become kind of mad about this, so they've sued a couple people, but they've lost every time. And you can only take a carry-on bag for obvious reasons. So it's a bit high risk, but very low cost. Good afternoon, sir. I'm with the uh, Sheriff's Department. Uh, we've had complaints of your dogs chasing around people on bikes. No, I think you've got the wrong guy. My dogs, uh, they don't have bikes. Are you retarded or something? Here's a free legal tip about debt collection. If you have a debt that's in collection right now and you think it's beyond the statute of limitations because it's too old, don't make any payments whatsoever because they're trying to trick you into resetting the deadline, into resetting the clock to restart the statute of limitations so that they can sue you. If a debt collector calls you and says, oh, just make a $5 payment or a $10 payment just to show that you're a good person and you're trying to work with us, they're almost certainly trying to trick you into resetting the statute of limitations. Don't make that payment unless you have an agreement in writing to settle it for full uh, or you have other advice that tells you it's a good idea to settle. Make sure you're not falling into a trap. Hope this tip was helpful for you and I'll see you on the next one. If you've used or are thinking about using the audio that goes, hey yo, my brother's hot check. I want you to delete your account and then I want you to delete the app off your phone and then I want you to never return. Good morning, TikTok fam. Today is Steph's birthday. <laughs> Comment below, wish Steph a happy birthday. Aww. And guess how old she is. Are you feeling older? I'm feeling amazing. You look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. All right, everybody, listen up, listen up. We're going to drive nice and smart here. We are not going to fuck around whatsoever. Everyone <laughs> Whoa, check it out. The car I bought with the intention of attracting girls, but somehow only attracts men. Got my sweet fucking rotiforms. Fucking mint. Got my sweet AM intake. Fucking mint. Got my sweet Amazon shitty fucking front lip. Fucking men. Ever in a car crash and you go to the doctors after, be very careful if you're not exactly sure how it happened. If you tell them something, it's now set in stone in a medical record. So if you're not 100% sure, be very broad. You bet you this Gucci bag you can't spin up on top of that rail and grind back down. My boyfriend said I get Starbucks too much, but there's a Starbucks like right over there. And did I stop in? No. So. Hello? Hello? Hi, I forgot my wallet at home. Okay, 
doing at the gate? Yeah, I got a shit really bad. I ate some spicy Taco Bell. I gotta get home quick, man. <laughs> People see the car videos I post because I drift and, and show off the car sometimes. And people leave the comments like, oh, it's just a V6. Yeah, yeah. All right, before you talk shit, at least make sure you know what I got under my hood because I definitely got a V8 under here. Fucking dumbass. Story time. So my friend had an incident at schoolies where um, something ripped. And this is the result. To wear these sir, sir, if you don't mind, just a, a moment of your time. It looks like you have really expensive tastes, sir. Uh, okay, listen, th it's this. It's not what it looks like. Okay, these aren't my. Pl uh, two of these planes are mine. I am a testament to the script. Call from your estate manager. He wants to know if you want to go ahead and resurface the helicopter pad on your get yacht. Out. Not right now. Yes, but yeah. Okay, get out. But why don't you fly commercial? I flew commercial once. I was in first class, obviously, but I, the, you know, the net they have that you know separates us, it was see-through. I could just see the other people back there. I was like, ugh. It's just being in the terminals and stuff like that. It's just like, people don't understand. People are, they recognize me, right? And people are coming up to me asking for marriage help. I just can't. Do, one time somebody came up and asked me for prayer. It's just like, ugh. You know? That must have been hard for you, sir. I, I, thank you. Uh, people would think I'm just living this different life than no one else does. I mean, I eat like everyone else does. I sleep like everyone, even seasonally right now. I got... Hey guys, so I'm going to teach you how to get rid of someone who keeps calling you. Hello, this is the Houston police. Officer. Hello, go fuck yourself. You can't use the phone while you're driving. Yeah, police? No, are you? No, but suck your mama then. Back to boy. Do what? Suck your mama. I like this one in the Ferrari. Yeah. My girl here is from Argentina. Argentina. And I'm from Hawaii. And we talk a little different. So if you like accents, check this out. Tomato. Tomate. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Nike. Nike. Adidas. Adidas. So nowadays, people love to judge. But we are all different. No matter how they talk, how they look, we should all accept each other. Right, babe. Kenzie, I think I'm gonna need some blinker fluid. Why, you're out or something? Yeah, I need, I need some new blinker fluid, okay? Can you go see if there's any blinker fluid in there? Blinker fluid? Yeah. Can I have your card? Yeah, here. What do I do? <laughs> oh my god. She's gonna go in there and ask if there's blinker fluid. <laughs> oh my god. She's so embarrassed, I bet. Did they have it? Are you kidding me, dude? What? They were like, did someone send you in here to get that or to ask me for that? And I was like, what? And he was like, there's no such thing as blinker fluid, sweetie. <laughs> that was not funny at all. I'm so embarrassed. Leave. Get out of here. I changed the noise so it doesn't honk anymore. It makes gunshots. People get out of the way way faster. I make money selling other people's cars. Go to craigslist.com. Find your location. Cars and trucks under for sale. Find cars that are on the cheaper side that people will have quick cash for. Go to kellybluebook.com. My car's value. Cross-reference the listings onto Kelly Blue Book. Always select price with standard equipment. Always select fair for condition. It's better to under-promise and over-deliver. Go to private party value. Save the listings that are at or below private party value. Contact the owners of the vehicles. Go take a look at the cars. Find out what's the lowest price the owner is willing to sell it for. 
It's usually $500 to $1,000 less than the listing price. Tell them that the car isn't for you, but that you have friends looking for a car. List the car and other seller platforms for $200 to $500 more than the original asking price. Wait for someone to contact you. Take them to the car. Tell the buyer that the seller is willing to knock off whatever you added if they buy the car on the spot. Give the seller what they want. The difference is your profit. Hey, yo, private. Who's looking for you? Joe? Yeah, Joe. Joe? Joe, Joe mama. Oh. Hey, yo, rich girl check. Whoa, check it out. The car I bought with the intention of attracting girls, but somehow only attracts men. Yo, excuse me. How much do you pay in rent? How much do I pay in rent? How much is on my neck? Five bands. Five bands in month? A month? Yeah. Five bands. Yeah. Okay. I got, a, I got an 801 luxury. How do you think I afford this chain? Exposing girls until I get famous part one if a girl says oh Okay, and nothing else do not continue you probably broke her heart. So be careful. Oh My god, I saw this from a distance. Oh my goodness. I hope it didn't hit the car. Oh my god The wind must have blew it. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. Oh my goodness. Oh my no, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Mm, I got lucky. Oh my god. Mint check. M4CS. Fucking mint. G-Wagon. Fucking mint. Alright. Fucking mint. Lambo. Fucking mint. So it tells us new update. It now shows you traffic cones look at that I like my uh, women like I like my coffee yeah. big tits you know I was making fun of me how I was driving a Toyota RAV4 but look at me now you bitch yeah I don't give a fuck Sin hacks if you're ever shopping at JB Hi-Fi Hack number one, if you want to get served ASAP, go to the Apple desk because I can guarantee someone will come serve you ASAP. Tip hack number two, if you go into a store and they don't have the stock of the product, just tell them to transfer the stock in from another store. Number three, if you want a good price, ask for a discount or a good deal because we do give discounts. Last hack, um, tip, don't wear a hoodie to JB Hi-Fi because we are most likely gonna think you're stealing. If you want more guys, like. Dude, straight pipe in your car is the worst modification that you could possibly do. Mm, let me get out my reading glasses for this one. So I have my title for my car. Let me see if I could see your name here. When most people get pulled over, they look at that right there. And think, I wonder how fast I was going. I get pulled over, I look at that right there because I know how fast I was going I want to know how far I can run what in cousin fucking tarnation Alabama Betty Crocker miss fucking Betty what shit is this hey yo Tesla check you ever just get bored and you're like hey want to watch some Netflix in the car well now you can you know just want to watch my vlog oh. Bro, this is so sick. Oh my god, it's an RX7, baby! He gone, doors, go away! I'm an off road god. Woo! Oh no, they're coming! Say you're shopping for auto insurance and it's presented like this option one is standard, and you can upgrade to either option two or three. Studies indicate that sales will more than double on option two if they set that as the default as opposed to option one. The more complicated the product is, the more powerful the default option is. A 
Hey yo, my best friend's rich check. So I'm at my friend's house and he has this little door in the corner of his room and it opens up for real. Trump Tower was completed in 1983 by President Donald Trump in a modernist style. Prices have fallen 30% since 2016, as many local New Yorkers object to living in his buildings. But there's also an intense secret service and tourist presence inside and outside the building, which makes living here incredibly difficult for locals. When your boyfriend dogs you to go hang out with the boys even though he promised three times that he'd come and see you tonight, fucking mint. I'm now going to fry it in a pan of butter. <laughs> we're going to colour it and then we're going to bake it in the oven and get it cooking and oozing full of butter. That is super yummy. Look at that. Do you think I'm attractive? No, you're ugly. Do you think I'm attractive? No. No. Do you think I'm attractive? Ew! It's for you. One light to yours. One light to yours. That's sexy. How sexy is that? How sexy is that? It's hot, it's hot, hey! Mabruk, yet of them. No, no way. I don't need it. I've got the Range Rover. Take it. I don't need the money. You need the money. <laughs> Are you guys ready to see the biggest front grill in the world? Remember, this car costs 236,000 Australian dollars. Are you fucking ready? Bruh. Your bruh. Bruh. Excuse me, miss. Is this your vehicle? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna get a parking ticket today. A parking ticket? Yeah, hundred dollar fine. For what? You're blocking lanes. What do you mean I'm blocking lanes? On the back. Plus plus the gas thing is out. That's another fine. That's another hundred dollar fine. That's another hundred dollar fine. Hell yeah. That doesn't that doesn't even close. And your wheels are messed up. It's another hundred dollar fine. So you have three hundred dollar fines for today. Really? Yes. So I need you to sign all of these three. I'm gonna have to call the towing truck, actually, if you wanna do it that way. No, I'll See, I, I, I hear a lot of tone, so... Sorry. Um, I'm going to just call the towing truck right now. So, just found out that the world doesn't actually revolve around me. Bit fucking pissed off about it. Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, I just want to shout at you real quick. Check this shit out. The new First Form World Headquarters here in St. Louis, Missouri, going up. 188,000 square feet of fucking awesome. But I want to talk to you about something else. And that something else is this. 20 years ago, when I was 20 years old, I was a lot like you. I wanted to be successful. And every fucking person I knew, when I was starting my business and sleeping in the back of my retail store on a piss-stained mattress that I got from Salvation Army, all those people, they said this would never happen. Don't let those people telling you that your shit ain't going to happen stop you from doing it. Rock chip in the Lambo. Fucking mint. Crack windshield on the R8. Fucking mint. Big scrape in your tint. Fucking mint. Paint peeling on your bumper. Fucking mint. So this is the BMW M2. The cool part about this one is it's manual, where a lot of them are automatic. To drive manual, simply follow the gear pattern 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then if you want to race somebody, go over to the top to R, drop the clutch and floor it. That's race mode. All right, everybody, listen up, listen up. We're going to drive nice and smart here. We are not going to fuck around whatsoever. Everyone pay attention. Let's get it. All right, time to go deposit these rent checks. I haven't deposited them for a while. So there's one, there's two, there's three. There's four, there is a five, and then bam, there's six. <laughs> oh, you drive a Beamer, bro? You got the freaking wing, bro? 
Oh, no way. The gold wheels, bro. Is that carbon fiber? Oh, man. You definitely don't use the blinkers, bro. I've been trying to catch this little fucking <laughs> mouse. <laughs> 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 I just hit one million on TikTok. Truly my greatest accomplishment ever. One million on TikTok. Just some real talk. If your boyfriend buys the movie theater snacks and popcorn and drinks instead of going to Five Below and sneaking them into his shirt pocket, that boy rich. She should, yeah, she's, oh my God. she's really big. Are you serious? <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best thing ever. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> 300 horsepower. And, uh, yeah. Sick. So, I got a car for my 16th birthday. It's kind of cool. What my parents did not anticipate on my car is that my car has a turbo. The fact that I'm a boy makes their insurance go up a lot more. When your ex adds you back on Snapchat, then unadd you. So you go on Instagram, post a quote saying, unblock me, let's be toxic one more time. And you look like a complete clown. And you look pathetic. Hmm. I remember I used to go to school, come out here and fucking shop till I drop in Forever 21. Not a drip a little different, you feel me? The drip is real different. Now we got I know you over 40s are out there. And I know you're on TT. So if you're 40, 50, 60 and over, let's let TT know we ain't too old for this app. And we ain't going nowhere. I'm going to undo this little latch here. And then this toggle. This is a $60,000 Hermes bag made especially for this Pagani. This is the Pagani Huayra Hermes edition. This is the only car like this in the world, one of one. All of this leather interior is made especially by Hermes in Paris and it has seven custom-made Hermes bags. Two here in the back behind this chair, another two here, one here, another two over there. This My dad bought me a Mustang, fucking meh. My dad bought me an S63, fucking meh. My dad bought my ex a Mercedes, fucking mint. Fucking mint. I may be extremely broke, but I have never had my cash app name in my bio, and I live by that. So what made you want to dye your hair purple? So what made you want to ask such a dumbass question? It's not your hair. Don't worry about it. Once again, I am seriously not trying to brag. I am the most modest person I know, but once again, this is a authentic off-white. That's coaching. This is a $80,000 car, $80, car, which is probably more money than all of y'all will ever make in your life. Hi, Laza. It's Ivanka Trump. I hear you're a big fan of my father. I agree. Good choice. I hope to meet you one day, and I love spending time with your sister and all her friends. So come visit us in New York. You do not know. Boys, I've discovered this fail-proof hack for when you're about to hit it, but your girl says that uh, she wants her first time to be magical. Expecto Patrona. What is your major and why did you choose it? Uh, my major is mechanical engineering and I chose it because uh, most of my family are engineers and I decided it's a good choice for me because it makes good money and that's what I enjoy doing, building stuff. Awesome. I was wondering if there's any engineers that could help me out with this problem. So I just got my brand new Maserati, but I can't get it up the driveway because it keeps scraping. So I've tried moving the Bentley out, and I've tried moving the Maserati out, but it still scrapes, as you can see. And my garage is only 6 metres wide, so I don't have much room to play with. 
I've also tried putting this Jaguar next to that Jaguar and coming up on this angle, but it still doesn't come up. Any help would be greatly appreciated. Google search of the day. Here's a fun one. You know these holes on your back? They're called Venus holes or Apollo holes. And if you have those, they facilitate good circulation. And because they're placed in that area, it's easier for you to achieve an orgasm. Oh, you can take my man if you want to? Well, let me tell you something, sweetheart. If you can take him, you can have him. But remember, if he'll cheat with you, he'll cheat on you. So, good luck. So my boy JJ just pulled yep. up in a GTR. But not only is it a GTR, it has stars on the roof with TikTok lights. Bro, can you hurry up with my oil change? You from New Jersey? I'm not. We take our time down here in Florida. Okay, so I look like this. And God had the motherfucking audacity to make my sister look like this. Hey guys, okay, so if you ever wanted to know how TikTokers get like that really nice, perfect lighting that they can move around like that, it's literally just a mini ring light that you can clip onto your phone. I got this one on Amazon for like $10. You're welcome. Priest buys a lawnmower at a garage sale, takes it back home, takes it back to the church, starts pulling it, trying to get it started, nothing. He gets cranky, storms back to the back to the garage sale to the previous owner. He says to the previous owner, he says, I want to return this, mate, I can't, I can't, I can't get it started. He says, oh, you have to curse at it, Father. Father says, curse? I don't even remember how to curse, it's been that long. He says, you pull on that string a few times, it'll come back to you pretty quick. I'm gonna do a little experiment with the Tesla. There's a come to me feature that I've not used yet because I'm really nervous about it, but it, your your car will self drive over to you. So. Woo! Okay, let's try it. Holy crap. Wait, there's a thing, there's a thing. Ah, I don't hit the thing. Oh my God. <laughs> no, wait, where are you going? Oh, it's coming. Oh my God, there's nobody driving it. getting messages on TikTok that says I'm too old to be on TikTok. There's not an age limit on TikTok. Also, I'm being told that I need to cover up. Well, here you go. Hey, Uncle Rico, look at me new chair. It's fucking brilliant, isn't it? Get that up, you fucking dog. <laughs> this is what men think they have. In reality, this is what they actually have. Please tell me I'm wrong. I cannot believe there are people out there who hate dogs. Like, do you even have a soul? If you're dating my ex, you may not want to throw attitude because I can end your relationship with an I miss you. Yeah, that's fine, sir. All right. Just letting you know you're being recorded. That's fine with me. Okay. Absolutely. You're being recorded as well around the dash. Thank you. Okay. And this is audio. So anything that we say you, is going to be transmitted into the, the camera that's in the car. Thank you, sir. All right. No worries. Have a great day. Introducing the most Beverly Hills car mom car. Diamond stitch and carbon fiber. Fucking mint. Back seats that no one can fit in. Fucking mint. Off-road capabilities that no one uses. Fucking mint. I paid 95 bucks to watch a couple brown, wet, hairy things swim around for a bit. Could have just looked at my balls in the bar. Yeah, I'm fucking there uh, today, fucking in there, uh, Fairfield, there. Uh, come to get the pizza, you know, with my my friend. What do you reckon? You yeah. love? Yeah, we stop here. 
in the shit hole, uh, what they call pizza, pizza on the hot leaf. Yeah, we come and get nice pizza, very good. Mm. Yeah, put the car in park. Yeah, very good, dear one. Park on the road to give a fuck, you know. Yeah, me the wing fucking hungry. I eat big pizza, you know. This is how you know you are too old for TikTok. You get on TikTok, you stay on for hours, and you think to yourself, I can make one of those videos. Let me find a tutorial. I just walked past two British ladies that were looking at Sacre Coeur, and one of them's like, one of those statues is meant to be Joan of Arc. And the other one goes, but they look like men. You know how much you won? No, nah, I'm not too sure. Uh, that'd be a surprise, right? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, let me see. Five thousand dollars. Yeah, right. Five thousand dollars. I'm not lying. Sorry, bro. When your ex still likes your pictures, still DMs you. Still add you then unadd you on Snapchat? It's because his new girl can't do it like you could. Now he's realizing it. He messed up a good thing. I just discovered something crazy. And I don't know if it's a coincidence or what, but... When you type in men into Google Translate... This is what it sounds like. It doesn't matter what the language is. Ain't shit. Oh. I'm officially at the age where I can date you or your dad. Don't play with me. If your boss gives you a hat like this and says, no hat, no work, you say, fuck off, mate, I'm going to fucking send a link. This is a shout out to Audrey Luther, a girl who went to my high school that asked a foreign exchange student if they ate dog as a joke. Do you sleep with your brother? Is it nice? Mom, how old are you? 29. How old are you? 29. How old are you? This moment, they're gonna, it, it's gonna be impressive because you're, how old and you look like this? I'm almost 53. Woo! Can you please explain to me why you had to fuck that ugly bitch and then make an ugly mug like me? I gotta bring up that shit. <laughs> So we all have these amazing sun visors that are supposed to block the sun, right? Well, let me show you my problem. Fucking mint! Remember, when you're a gamer, your hands sweat. So at least once a week, clean off your controllers, mouse, or keyboard with alcohol to get rid of the excess grease that builds up. All I'm saying... If you get a notification that I followed you on TikTok and then right after I followed you on Instagram, I think you're cute. Hit me up. My DMs are open. I just think it's interesting that men can't unclip a bra, but they can do literally anything else behind your back. My dad, 317. Life in the car business is before the internet. Dealerships owned and ran the world. They owned the manufacturer, they owned the people, they owned the banks, we owned it all. Back in the day, we told the banks how much we wanted for the car. Today, the banks tell us how much they'll give us. Back in the day, the only person who knew the value of a used car was the used car manager. When a customer said they would take it, shut up and start writing. Today, start printing. <laughs> Back in the day, the only way to find out what a dealership had in inventory was to go out and walk the lot. You wanted to find out what was on sale? You looked in a newspaper. Today the manufacturer owns the dealership with their little fucking surveys. Gotta get a good survey, gotta give me all tens. Back in the day it used to be suit and ties for everyone. Today it's fucking golf shirts. Back in the day I used to work in a sea of killers in a little shark tank. Today it's a bunch of fucking order takers. Well you know what, fuck the internet. I still wear my suit and tie. People pay more. So you guys keep asking what I do for work when I had to buy that expensive uniform and I can't actually say it on TikTok. So um, here's an example. Do you get it? Do you? Dude! You the Jimmy? What's your name? Jimmy Johns. You gotta Josh. be kidding me. 
This is the most baller Jimmy John's delivery guy I've ever seen. I hear a lot of guys saying that girls only wear thongs make their ass look good. And while yes, that is a good reason, it's not the only reason, Gerard Thin. I bet you didn't know I'd be laying them off in class all the time and nobody ever finds out about it because they can't hear it. Here's your butthole with no thong. <laughs> and here's your butthole with a thong. <sighs> it slices your fart in half. When you have a piece of string going between your clappers, Nothing's flapping in the wind, you I feel me? I keep seeing these TikToks of these really pretty girls lip syncing to that song that's like, I could take you mans if I want to. And like, yeah, we get it. You're hot. But you can't take what I don't have. And I live by that. Oh. Oh. Oh, bitch. Bitch, I am cute. Girls, please stop with all this. I can take it bad if I want to. Shit. Because you make yourself look silly. How about I take your dad and make you my stepdaughter? I can take your daddy if I want to. Behave yourself. My dad got me a new car. Let's go see what it is. Dang it, it's white. You know what bothers me? Something that just really spanks my pancakes. When people on social media ask a question in their post or their caption to get more engagement out of their followers, it's so stupid. Comment down below if you agree that that's like really annoying. You know us women in the South, we like to keep it sweet, sassy, and classy. But honey, if you flip my bitch switch, I can do so much damage with a smile on my face and in the sweetest voice you've ever heard. Oh, Sydney, just get off TikTok. Seriously, you're never going to be famous. Oh, shut up, Jamie. It's fine. I started a petition to get your TikTok shut down because your TikToks are so bad. Why are you trying to ruin my career? I'm a TikTok queen. Oh, grow up, Sydney. So we saw a video that said that women can do this because they have a lower center of gravity and that men can't. So we're going to test it out. So you're going to put a foot against the molding and then the other foot directly behind. And then again. And then you line your feet up. Put your head against the molding of the wall and then bring the chair underneath you. Make sure you're low enough and then pull the chair to your chest and stand up. Now Gavin is bigger than Hannah, so he should be able to do this. So foot against the molding and then behind and then put together. Then put your head against the wall, <laughs> chair, pull it to your chest and stand up. <laughs> And you were only gonna pay me 30? You're getting 30 grand? I'm getting a thousand! You guys are getting paid. It takes me about 2.5 seconds to go from this is the best day ever <laughs> to I'm gonna stab every motherfucker today. Do you know what? It's been absolutely freezing in the UK these last few mornings. Three times in a row now I've had to wake up to a frosty windscreen in the car. And this morning I was late for work. Some idiot thought they'd be funny and they wrote the word MONG on my windscreen. It took me ages to lick that off. If you're a fucking fading and fucking full grown Aussie, this is what you'd have for breakfast, you fucks. A fucking VB long neck at 20 to 8 in the... Took a shot for every bad decision you've ever made. Would you be sober? Would you be tipsy? Or would you be wasted? I said, I'll be dead. Fuck, I should've got some movie snacks. Oh, you should've got some popcorn like me. Some what? Popcorn? Yeah, popcorn, mate. Isn't it popcorn? Nah, mate. It's popcorn. I'm pretty sure it's popcorn. I've never heard of that word in my toilet. So, is there like a hot dad check? Because if there is, will you tag me in it? For research purposes only. You drive a new Cadillac, but you buy store brand food? No, bitch. I drive a Cadillac because I bought a store brand food. Hope you enjoy your name brand groceries and your 93 Honda Civic while I'm rolling in my Escalade eating my Porios. Are you sure your brother's gonna like me? Yeah, my brothers are gonna love you. Just be yourself. You have nothing to worry about. Seriously. Promise? You're good. Dang, this is a nice house. What do they do? Well, my one brother is in the league and my other brother is a cop. You good? Those are your brothers? Yeah. Hey guys, come meet my boyfriend, AJ.
What's up, guys? I'm AJ. AJ plays basketball no, too. No, no, that was that was long. That was a long time ago. Oh, really? That was oh, a while back. A, that, Hooper. No, no, that was a mm. long time ago. You're, you're good. You're about good. That. Way back in college. Check like out. Like ten years. These guys started digging into random pieces of ground. And they just keep on digging all the way down. They chop down tons of little pieces of wood. And they're using this to build the foundation of their house. And they collect tons of mud. They actually use this cement to embed the hole inside of this hole. And they take a pipe all the way down to the river. So the water can flow back into the house and fill it up. No way, because they're actually creating an underwater house. What? I actually mess with this a lot. My favorite one because he uses all the concrete to make his home look like a mini castle. He even has a trench to stop enemies from coming in. He puts spears all around here. He actually uses the bridge as his door. And he gets pulls it up once he's in. To make it worse, he put snakes all around his trench. <laughs> These guys picked a random part of the forest and just started destroying everything. And they made this ginormous hole going around this weird lump of stone here. Pipe of water coming out, going over top of it. So it's their own, like, cool waterfall. No lie, this turned out so good. These guys are out here creating a five-story. Oh, this does not look safe at all. Bro, look at them up there. And to get the mud up on there, they actually have to have a guy <laughs> throwing it up to him so they can do it all by hand. This is the end product right there. They slayed this design. It's not the size that matters, nor the motion of the ocean. It's if the goddamn captain can stay in port long enough for the rest of his passengers to get off. The For You page will probably reject this, but I found it funny. What's the worst part about locking your keys in your car outside the abortion clinic? Having to go in and ask for a coat hanger. I'm literally so stupid. So last night, mum bought like a whole pack of Coke and they have like special names on them, right? There's heaps of them. Like this one says old mate, obviously classic Australian, but there's heaps of others like princess, sis, Santa, like everything. And one of the cans says the boys, right? Anyway, I took my can out last night and I'm drinking from it. And mine said the gays. And I was like, oh my God, Coke is being so exclusive. Like, look at them. Like, this is so positive. And mum turns to me and she's like, are you dyslexic? Like, did you even read it? It says the gals. How am I this dumb? I keep seeing people post on Snapchat that it's National Sex Day, but the only thing that I'm fucking is stupid, and the only thing fucking me is life, so... I'm beautiful and sexy, without being a perfect 10. I might not be your choice, but I... I'm a great choice. I don't pretend to be someone else because I'm How come when you get a really good parking spot you think you can't read anymore? On Monday to Friday? <laughs> Did I say that? That's alright. <laughs> There's an arrow going that way or the other way, wasn't it? I don't know if someone's cheating on you. If they don't post you on the story or if they only post you on private stories. If when you ask to hang out, they come up with excuses like they got to walk their hamster. Um, if you call them out of the blue and they decline quick. Hmm. So me and my boyfriend came to the store to get some stuff. And this guy, he's like, nice ride. And my boyfriend's like, yeah, she is. Damn right. Ladies, if you think that it's okay to go into public without a bra on and I can see your whole ass nipple, you'd be correct. That shit's fire. Please keep doing it. Boyfriend Chai, come here. Come here. Just kidding, I don't have a boyfriend because I am gay. Hey! 15.38. For this? Yeah, 15.38. No, uh-uh, I'll put it up myself. All right. Raisins, white man. What's the difference between love, true love, and showing off? Spitting, swallowing, and gargling. Good Monday morning. This is what it's like being married to Farah, and I'm standing in an empty driveway instead of going to work. That's because Farah took both sets of car keys with her this morning, and I can't find the spare. This week's off to a howler. I am really convinced that only a woman who has delivered a baby without an epidural can understand a man when he has a cold. 
here we fucking go again in the fucking condo park. The traffic bumper do bumper no good and the fucking smoke in the sky no good. It the uh, bishop be the way too much there yeah, no good no good. It fucking take long time that to fucking one hour to get through the street. That should not take longer than 60 seconds or something, I don't know. Did too much the uh, piss off and come confusion for me, darling. Yeah, what, what to do, I don't know. Too much. The one uh, very upset boy. He always stuck in traffic. Me, darling, go crazy. Sure, no good. Lose the timber. The one very upset boy. Don't call the police, no good. Be caught, maybe arrest me, darling. And uh, the, the one, no more me, darling, on the road. Yeah, they calling trouble. All right, so I've been seeing a lot of videos of women, girls saying they prefer a guy with a dad body over abs. But I've never once heard a guy say, I prefer a girl with a mom body over a slim waist. Am I wrong? I finally figured it out. I now know why people think that I'm an adult. It's because of my age. What the crap? Having a man that can go a long time in bed is pretty freaking awesome. But having a man who can go a long time without pissing you off is priceless.